Cindy here, guest narrating for this recap of our trip down to Amicalilla Falls. We left in the morning and took the drive in to Newark Airport, enjoying the sunshine and the views of the city. It was a beautiful day, not like a normal February day at all. Just so much sunshine and warmth. It was really good. Scott was in a great mood. We enjoyed disembarking from Newark Airport's brand new terminal. It was so shiny and new, it hardly felt like Newark at all. Uh, really kind of a weird experience if you are used to the old Newark Airport. Scott had his pack in this giant duffel bag and that worked perfectly for getting it into the airport. I'm gonna call this his before portrait. We'll see what he looks like after. That's our ride. It's ready to take us down to Atlanta. Before we knew it, it was time to board the plane. Uh, he insisted I got this walk down the jet bridge, a man ready to go off on his adventure. It's required to tap the plane on the way in. Scott reread Appalachian Trials on the plane while I was reading Pushing North, both really great books for mindset on the trail. This is the point, I think, when he realized that we were flying down almost the whole length of the AT and could see it out the window. Really incredible to see those mountains out there and realize he'd be walking them home. What it takes just a few hours to fly over will take months to walk back. Welcome aboard the ATL Skytrain. Please hold on, this train is departing. Next stop is ATL West Parking, GICC, and Big Welcome aboard the ATL after stopping at REI for some supplies and dinner, we made it to the Amicalola Falls Lodge. This is the view we woke up to. Just an incredible view out our window and the soft light over the mountains. It was magical. In the lobby, they have this enormous map of the AT and it really kind of grounds you how far it is to get home. And here's another shot of the sunrise out the window. So pretty. Here's that giant map again. It is just enormous and it goes all the way up all the floors of the hotel. Of course, we had to go to Waffle House for breakfast because Scott loves Waffle House. Scott did some more packing and repacking of his pack, and then we went to the airport and picked up his cousin, Adrian, who's joining him for the first few weeks on trail. And together, they took their packs and went and checked in at Shelter 2, which is the temporary location for uh, trail check-in. They checked in, got their tags. Uh, Scott is number 217, uh, and he got his pack weighed. We'll be back at the Arch tomorrow for official pictures in packs and gear, but since we were already there, we figured we'd stop by and just check it out for a minute. The Arch is really cool and it was incredible to be there for real after seeing so many pictures. Then we went to go check out the waterfall. It was such a beautiful day and the waterfall is spectacular. So worth coming to see. I just went to take some pictures, but the guys went and climbed up the stairs too.
that's it for today. Tomorrow we drive to Springer Mountain and the guys will start their hike.